Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a fun tutorial for you on how I made a DIY crib mobile. I made this for my niece that is coming on the way and it was so inexpensive. You can buy these mobiles from anywhere. I believe I've seen the mobile that I used, it was about $15 on Amazon and I used felt and stuffing from a pillow that I had that was like an old decor pillow that I don't use anymore and I used that to stuff the felt I hand stitched everything used some hot glue the felt was 33 cents a piece I maybe spent four dollars on felt which is crazy so literally this project cost me hardly anything a lot of these felt mobiles go for sale on Etsy for anywhere from maybe 50 to a, up to $125. And so I honestly just thought, I don't know, this could be something really cute to give to her that fit the theme of the nursery. So maybe something you could try for a friend. You wouldn't have to spend a lot of money. I feel like baby gifts can go, I mean, if you can spend a lot of money if you want to, but this is just a really easy tutorial. I think as far as making it and stuffing it with stuffing and I don't feel like it's that expensive. So if you'd like to learn how to make your own crib mobile then keep watching. Okay so this was kind of my inspiration for the mobile. I don't remember if I found it on Pinterest or Google Images or what have you but that's kind of where I built my thought process for making this mobile. So what I did, um, the original picture just kind of showed you the images I found and just printed out and then I literally pinned them to the felt and then cut around them. So I would highly, highly recommend you have an extremely sharp pair of scissors. I actually went out and bought these. Um, I think they're from Hobby Lobby. They're about $8 and they are amazing. They will cut your finger off. So. It made it so much easier. I actually tried to use like normal kitchen shears from our um, knife block and it was a terrible process. So I would definitely recommend you have some really sharp scissors. And when I did the clouds, because everything is double layered because I'm stuffing them, I cut them together so that I knew they would be the same shape. I don't feel like the shapes will be the same if you were cutting them separately. Just I mean everything is hand done so everything is going to be a little bit different so you can kind of see the shapes behind there that I've already cut out but this was how I did the clouds and it all comes down to those scissors it's the only way you'll get some clean cut lines so you'll just continue to go around use the felt colors that you want and um, Stars are really tough, that's all I'm going to say about that. Even with cutting them out, I had a really hard time making them look, you know, like a proper star. So I got the cloud all done. Um, the cloud felt was actually from Michaels and was a lot um, different material than Hobby Lobby. I would definitely go to Hobby Lobby for your felt if this is what you choose to do. And those stars are just foam stickers. And because they stick to the felt, they gave the best possibility of getting a good cutout of a star because I knew they wouldn't move because they're so tiny. So I would definitely recommend trying that. And this is what they all kind of looked like when I was done cutting them out. And then I would start kind of stitching and stuffing them together. Okay, I'm just going to talk through this because it's easier than doing a voiceover. But um, this is the cloud I'm working on that's been cut out in the felt. It's two pieces. And I've just been hand stitching them. So with just a thread and needle. Um, this is the cactus that I've done already. So you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, it turned out so much better than I thought. And you can kind of see like, see if I can get it to focus on the stitching at all. So you can kind of see how it's been hand stitched. Um, that little rosette I just added, it's hot glued. So I'm just gonna do a video, um, these 
clips are going to show you how I'm actually sewing, but it, oh, it's, it's actually really easy. So, all right. The thread I'm using is, um, dual duty in colors, coat and coat coats and Clark. It's like an ivory color. So I just have, um, my needle and thread prepared with just, you know, the, a good couple knots at the end. And what I do is you're gonna lay your cloud or whatever shape you're doing it, and there's two, because remember it's stuffed with stuffing or filling. You lay it on top of each other. This is after I kind of just cut around that paper, the papers that I printed out. Um, and you're just gonna thread it through this first layer, just right at the edge, and then just pull it through. So it'll stop at the knot, and then I just kind of tuck in the ends for now, right there. But that's how the little knot will get hidden. And then you just literally make your first loop and you pull it through when you don't get stuck on something. And I just kind of picked, my cat is trying to attack me right now. I have no idea if you can see that or not, so that's fun. So I just kind of thread it through the edge right here. Um, so you're getting kind of like, you can kind of see the looping there that the stitching kind of creates. And you just pick a really kind of edge piece and you just literally start threading. And when you're doing clouds, they get caught all the time around the little edges. And sometimes like that little piece got kind of stuck. I just scoot it over um, and just keep going. I'm going to do the moon that's next, um, which is a different color. And I think it's going to be a lot easier for you to see than on the white. So we'll just keep going with that one. Okay, so my cloud itself is finished. And I was just going to show you how I thread it to create the string for the mobile. So it's completely finished. I stuffed it and I'll show you the threading and actually full sewing and putting the stuffing in the moon since it's a different color. It's just hard because it's white to show you the difference. So I just take a piece of um, thread doubled over and knotted at the end and I just stick it in the bottom with the needle and thread the needle through and pull it up through there. So it's kind of stuck. This is going to be obviously what the cloud hangs on. And then I'm doing stars. They're felt stars just made out of felt. The cat's back. And felt is nice because it will stay on this kind of material. Man. And literally what you're gonna do is just take the needle and thread it up through there and it will stay. So this is a little bit of a trial and error, but felt, has kind of some layers in between. So literally what I do is I just thread it through. Now, you might get stabbed, let's be real. But then it will pop out to the top. You pull it all the rest of the way through. And then you're left with the hanging part of your mobile. So this is kind of how I have the mobile hanging while I work on it. It's just literally pinched in a cabinet um, and it's just kind of hanging there. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm attaching the string of the mobile, um, well, attaching the string to the actual mobile. So it has just this little loop right here and I'm just gonna wrap the string around and I'm gonna hot glue it in place. Okay, so you can kind of see the end of this 
and I just have the thread kind of hanging through there. And then all I do is I wrap it around and kind of hold it in place here and just stick it back through there. And I try to do this like once or twice so that it's just kind of held on like this. You can kind of see what it looks like there. So what I'm going to do is just take hot glue and fill that hole. Okay. Um, and I just kind of smooth it. This part won't matter because I'm going to cover this up with um, some ribbon. And then I just do underneath and you'll want to kind of take your extra and then wrap it around here too. Let it dry a little bit so you don't burn the you know what out of your fingers but that'll help a lot too. And then just add extra as you go. And it's okay if some gets on the string, you can pull that off later. It's just hot glue, so luckily it is not permanent. Looks like, and if some comes out, you just refill the hole. But you can see the ones I did over here, but it looks just like that, where it's filled. And then I have some fabric that's gonna go over the top of that, so then as they're hanging, you won't be able to see it. Okay, so this is the moon. The little glitter stars are little foam glitter stickers that literally are so attached to the felt, I didn't have to glue them or anything. There's no way they're gonna come off. So um, what I'm gonna do is show you how to sew. I think this will be easier for you to see than the cloud was. So what you do is I am going to sew around here first and stop and then thread the thread through the middle so that I can then close the rest of this up, stuff it and close it up. And the thread will already be running through there so that I know the moon will hang um, level. So that's going to kind of be how to determine how I start. So just like with the cloud, um, I start on the inside and I just kind of pick a spot and pull it through. And then you, again, you don't need to worry about your little stringies. You'll fix those eventually. Um, and then you literally just start hand stitching the edges. Now, I'm sure you could use a sewing machine for that. And I have a sewing machine, but I haven't actually sewed since the eighth grade home ec class. So there's that. So I don't know. I feel like if you're a super sewer, you're not going to be watching this video anyway, but you never know. So is literally um, all you do and sometimes you'll get like that little bubble and I just kind of pull and tug it as it goes along but you can see the little stitch so you literally just continue to do that along the edge and you can see how like my felt isn't even and felt is so forgiving honestly like when you stitch it none of this was even but it's not gonna matter because it's all stitched together so this project, I think, just felt gives you a lot of grace, I think, um, which is kind of why I like it. And all felt is not created equal. Hobby Lobby is definitely the place to go for felt. It is so much better than Michael's. So that's pretty much what you do. And I'm just going to keep going around the edge and then I'll come back when it's time to thread that piece through the middle. Okay, so I stitched the outside of the moon and I've left it open so that I can thread my string through there. This is what's going to attach the mobile. And 
you're just going to thread it through in between the felt. Um, the best part about leaving this open is so that you can open it and find the needle when it gets lost. And then I just played around with it a minute ago to find out like where to hang it to make sure that the moon would hang level. You definitely want it coming up out of your seam. So just pull it through till your knot hits and then it will hang. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna go um, re-thread my needle and then literally do all this um, and then we'll stuff it. Okay, so the moon is finished and the thread is up top so it can hang. And now I just have to attach the cactus to the moon. And I think I'm going to use hot glue like I did with this little rosette right here. So we will try that. So basically these two arms are the ones attaching to the moon. So I think I'm just going to glue right here in this little spot. Press and hold. Let that glue dry. Take some glue gun burns to get some of that glue out of the middle there. Okay, so this is the mobile. I just have it hanging up in our mudroom. And this is how the moon and the cactus turned out. I ended up just hot gluing the cactus to the moon. You could have probably stitched this part to this fabric before you do the moon, but it actually worked out really well. It's really secure. There's no way it's gonna come off. And um, it's hanging really well. So. On this mobile, and I've put the link below for the kind of mobile that I used, um, it just threads through the top. So I just have the thread of it running through there, and it's literally just looped right there. You can barely see it because the string is so similar to the color of the mobile, but that's pretty much how I did it. So now all I'm doing is taking some little fluffy ribbon I'll show you in a second and just literally making like little flowers on the end just to cover up this part it's just really I mean it's just like raw hot glue so you certainly don't have to do this but I feel like it just kind of finishes it off so all right fabric I'm using is just this ball fabric I've linked it before underneath for you in the description box. It's just from Amazon. And I'm just going to wrap it around the edge of there. Hot glue around the entire perimeter. Just being careful. And just prepare yourself for the hot glue burns because they're inevitable and just squeeze it as it dries and it just kind of wraps around there just to hide that hot glue and then you usually just need one other little piece here and again just hold it and then it just kind of covers that up so now you can just kind of see really up close kind of what it's doing, just covering up 
the little string where it attaches to the mobile. And then the little stars. And the little cloud. This is the moon up close. The cactus, the little rosette that's just a piece of felt I wrapped around, like coiled around, rolled it up like a little yoga mat and glued it on there. Well, that is it. I hope this video made sense to you, you enjoyed it, and you feel like you can make your own crib mobile. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. As always, I've linked everything I use in the description box, and I will see you next time. Bye!